let's start with the first question. You guys have been sending through quite a lot of questions, which means that you need the help that we are offering to you guys. The first person who did send us a question is Elizabeth. Elizabeth Shabalala, thank you so much for your question. It's a question on interest rates. Whenever we are talking about interest rates, it will help you to know the difference between interest and interest rate. Interest is the money and then interest rate is the percentage. So if I say um, that I'm investing a certain amount of money, that's the money that I'm putting in. That's the investment that I'm putting in. So those are the terms that you need to understand. So an investment is the money. Interest is the money on top of the investment, extra money on top of the investment. And then we've got um, what then we say is an interest rate. Interest rate is then um, going to be your percentage. Let's look at the question that um, Ushabalala gave us. The question says to us, George, um, Josh saved 500 rand. Okay, don't mistake that for 5,000 or 50,000. That is 500 rand each month since earning his first profit. So we see now that we are going to be working with this 500 rand over here. And then it says that he has now accumulated, it means that the money built up on top of each other, 17,000 rand. So it was 5,000, 5,000, 5,000 until it reached that 17,000 over there. Table two below shows the simple interest rates. Guys, simple interest versus compound interest. I want you to listen carefully to me in terms of the difference of the two things. And I think it is um, important for me to mention the difference between the two because you never know which one you will be asked for. Simple interest, the same amount of money is added every single time. So if I've saved something on a simple interest rate for three years, and the interest is 500 rand, it means that I'm gonna gain 500 plus 500 plus 500 is going to be my interest, okay? But if it was compound interest, then you would be gaining interest on the previous balance. Let's look at what this simple interest looks like. It says to us here, um, simple interest rates for fixed time periods, and then we've got the months over here, We've got, it tells us here between which amount and which amount, um, interest rate per year. And then we've got a different amount here as well. And we can see that the more money you invest, um, the bigger the interest rate is going to be, as you can see the difference between those two over there. This one is an investment, it's not a loan, okay? These questions are a bit slanted. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to read the questions from my paper so that it does not um, bother us as such in terms of those questions. Let's look at the first question that Shabalala gave us, Elizabeth. It says, determine in months. Remember that we were given months, okay? So it says, determine in months how long he took to take um, the 17,000 Rand. So we know that in terms of 17,000 Rand, it's the money that was accumulated, but we want to know now how, how long it took. And we know that this person saved each month 500 Rand. So anytime they say to you, how long, how many, it's division, guys. So you're going to take something big and divide it with something small. So let's take now that 17,000 and divide it with the 500 to find out um, how long it took. So, A, 17,000 Rand, and look at how I'm dividing money with money for, for my how long. Divided by the 500 Rand. Let's go and put that in our calculations. 17,000 divided by 500. 34 months. Okay. B. B is asking us, write down the interest rate he will get if he invests his money for three years. Guys, the important thing here to note is interest rate. Why is this interest rate so important to us? The interest rate is important to us because they're not asking us for the money, but they're asking us for the percentage. 
please pay attention to that. Interest rate is the percentage. Anytime you ask for a rate, it's the percentage. And here they're talking about three years. If you look at this table over here, this table is giving it to us in months. So these are months over here. So we want to figure out that in terms of these months, um, what it's going to be for years. Okay. So for the years, then we are going to say three months times 12. I mean, three years. And three years times 12 is going to give us, it should give us 36. 36 months. So let's go look. First things first, this person is investing between 10,000 and 24,999. So it's going to automatically fall under here. And if it's falling under there, we then go to six months. So it's as though we are taking this, okay? And we're saying this 36 goes hand in hand with this column over here. So it's going to be 8,30%. Okay. So in it being 8,30%, We've got that interest rate. Let's look at C. Determine, round it to the nearest 100. Guys, please don't forget this rounding off because automatically it forms part of a mark. It says to us, determine, round it to the nearest 100 rand, the amount of interest. So now we're talking interest, meaning it's money. I said to you guys, please note the difference between interest rate and interest Interest rate is the percentage and interest is the actual amount of money. So it says here, Josh will earn if he invests his accumulated savings for three years. So this is what we want to know now. It says to us that this person is going to get this much per year, this much interest per year. And we know it's three years. So it's 8,30% interest and it's three years, and it's simple interest. So this person is putting in 17,000 times 8,30. So what I'm going to do with this percent, I'm going to put it over 100 so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. 8,30 all over 100 because percentage is always out of 100. So we want to see how much this person is going to make in a year in terms of interest. Okay. So 17,000 times um, 8,30 all over 100. So that's going to be 1,411. Okay, per year interest. But what do we want? We want to know that how much is this person um, going to earn in terms of interest if they are saving it for three years? And I said to you, simple interest, you're gaining the same amount every single year. So 1,411 times three years. And then this is then going to give us the interest that we are looking for. Times three years. 4,233. 4,233, but they said to us that we need to round it off to the nearest 100 rand. And if we're rounding it off to the nearest 100 rand, we're going to see where 100 is. 100 is this 2 over here. So it means that this 3 is not going to change this 2. So if we're rounding this off to the nearest 100 rand, it's going to be 4,200 rand. So please don't forget to round off because that's where you're going to get a bit of your marks so the next question then says to us please don't forget okay guys if it says interest it's the money interest rate is the percentage those two things are very different from each other um Sfiso wants to invest twenty four thousand rand for 48 months so now the scenario is twisting around for 48 months instead of 12 months 
So now we want to know, calculate the difference in percentage points for the interest rate. So we want to know the difference that this person is going to um, be getting. Instead, if the person is going to invest for 48 months instead of 12 months. Let's write that scenario down um, so that we don't get confused. So this person is investing 24,000, okay? And they're investing it for 48 months. Instead of 12 months. So if it was the 12 months, it would have been, let's go see what it would have been. If they were investing 24,000, that 24,000, I'm just going to remove um, a lot of the stuff that's happening here. That 24,000 still falls under this column. So we're still under the first column. And then we're going to first look at the 12 months. 12 months is 7,76%. I'm going to be talking interest rate. And then as opposed to 48 months. And if 48 months is going to be, here's the 48 months. 48 months is going to be 8,48. But now the question is asking us for the difference. Difference means I'm going to subtract these two from each other. Therefore, 8,48% minus 7,76%. Percent. So look at that in terms of interest and not the money that they're asking for. So it's 8,48 minus 7,76. That's going to give us 0,72%. Believe it or not, that is quite, it's a difference. Um, in terms of interest if you were supposed to be now paying something else. So whenever you do find a question in terms of interest and interest rates, always, always, always remember interest is money, interest rate is the percentage. So the next question then says to us, um, write down the minimum number of years and months a person must invest 25000 to earn the interest rate of 8,41. So we need to look at this table in terms of that. So here it says to us, how long is it going to take for someone who wants to invest 25,000? So this 25,000 then takes us to the point um, that we are now moving here. Okay? They're investing 25,000 and they want 8,41% as an interest. So we move that way, and that's going to give us 18 months. This is a nice one in terms of interpretation. That's going to be 18 months. But the question then says to us, we need to give it in years and in months. So how many years are in 18 months? It's one year because it's 12, mo 12 months is one year. 12 if you subtract 18 and 12, you're going to get six months. So it's one year and six months. I think I am correct. Um, and that is the first question that we have from uh, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. That was a finance question. Make sure you understand your interest, interest rates, investments, loans, because you might be getting a loan instead of an investment. Okay, so but then the calculations will be more or less the same. Make sure you know how to calculate compound interest because I see we don't have a question here in terms of compound interest, but make sure you know the difference between compound interest and simple interest.